Hi everyone, we are team 4, I am Janardhan and these are my team members Subhabrata and Dhawal. We have made a speech based ball collector. Basically this is a bot which views the arena with a camera and uh, it detects the color of the ball based on the speech input given by the user. It picks up that ball and puts, up, uh, puts that in a basket. So this is the project that we have implemented in Skylab and Estrel. These are open source tools and uh, we hope by this it, it is more reusable on any platform. Ok, so now I will give the voice input. Uh, this time there are two balls in front of the bot. One is blue and one is red. And the basket is covered with green as you see here. Now I uh, will give the command and it will detect the red ball and it will not detect the blue ball and will put in the basket. Red. Now as you see there are two balls in front of the bot. One is blue and one is red. It is not detecting the blue ball. It will check for the red ball and put it in the green basket. Now as you see it did not detect the blue ball but it has stopped in front of the red ball. Now it is going in front of the red ball. Now as you see it has captured the red ball and it will now try to detect the green basket. Now it is slowly rotating towards the green basket. Now you will see in the camera that the basket is now appearing in the camera. As it will see the green basket, it will uh, detect it and it will move towards it. It has detected it and it has put the red ball in the basket. Uh, as uh, Janardhan said that we implemented this project completely in open source using Skylab and Estrel. So there were many challenges that we faced. First of all, Skylab does not have all the functions that is provided by any standard uh, enterprise toolbox like MATLAB. So we had to implement some of the library function that is provided by MATLAB but not present in Skylab. For example, this image processing function where the uh, camera detects the object of a specified color and labels it is not present in Skylab. So we had to write a library function for it. We also had to highly optimize the code to synchronize the, uh, to minimize the delay in order to synchronize the bot movement and the uh, image processing delay. So we uh, used a sort of sampling where we do not process the entire image but only uh, sections of the image by uh, divided into a square grid and probing the center for the object. Also uh, the serial communication tool, external serial communication toolbox uh, that we used for Skylab, we had to uh, mitigate the various bugs present in it in order to use it. Uh, also for the uh, voice command, it had to be trained separately in order to identify the three broad classes like red, uh, green and blue based on uh, some classification training. So we also developed a communication protocol where the hardware uh, interacts with the software. So uh, at first the uh, Skylab sends a signal to the external to, uh, in order, uh, one in order to move forward. So the bot moves forward. Uh, and the camera simultaneously keeps on capturing the image. So the Skylab uh, waits till the object comes at the center of the uh, frame when it sends it a signal to. So we also used a sort of acknowledgement because uh, they, as there was a uh, communication delay between the software and the hardware, the read buffer was often getting uh, exhausted. So we used a sort of acknowledgement where the bot acknowledges that it has received a proper command from the signal, uh, Skylab. So after it reaches the ball, it again sends it back a feedback and then it moves and picks up the object. And similarly, it follows a similar protocol in order to detect the basket and uh, drop the ball within the basket. So as we have added some uh, signals in Asteral uh, library for a Firebird fi uh, uh, Fire robot. So we have added a Zigbee module command like uh, send and uh, receive. And we have also added some uh, command which, which is used in our project like uh, pick the ball and uh, drop the ball. Uh, we have also added some command to rotate the 
uh, robot at, at uh, some, some degree like uh, 15 degree or 30 degree given by the uh, program or a uh, particular speed. So we have implemented this project completely open source and platform independent and while doing so we have added some library functions to Skylab uh, especially for image processing as well as to SRL uh, where we, where we uh, define various signals. So we hope that this project can be further reused and also the li new library function that we have added. Further this project can be extended uh, by providing various natural language processing commands. For example, now we provide only the color of the ball. Maybe it can be provided for the commands like move left, move right and so on. Also, we are detecting the uh, largest object of a specified color, but we are not identifying any shape. So maybe this will, this can be further added to re uh, re-enhance this project. Thank you.